We're getting our first test of the NCAA safety protocols. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us first at four. I'm Daniel Miller and I'm Beer Shell May. Now several referees are being sidelined because of COVID-19. Fox 59's Darius Johnson has been looking into the safety plan, joins us now live from downtown. So Darius, part of this plan does include a pretty aggressive testing effort. Hey there, Daniel and Beer Shell. Good afternoon. You know, this afternoon, the C the NCAA actually reported out of 2300 COVID-19 tests, five of those came back positive, including one referee. But that number could change any minute now as they wait for test results from this morning and teams that have recently arrived. You think nothing could go wrong after all the planning, but the NCAA says this is a virus that we don't control. It controls us, but it can't be perfect. It's not going to ever be perfect in a pandemic. NCAA senior VP of basketball Dan Gavitt explained Tuesday how five refs were exposed to another ref who then tested positive for COVID-19. Their hotel rooms were not ready for check in, so the game officials asked for permission to grab a bite to eat. NCAA protocols state no one is allowed to leave their hotel after arriving unless they are going to a venue. First of all, unfortunate and disappointing situation uh, for everyone involved. All six are isolated and in quarantine before being sent home. The Marion County Health Department deems them ineligible to participate in the tournament. A total of 60 refs were invited to the tournament. Another 17 are on standby. Four of them will now replace the sideline refs. Referees have made great sacrifices uh, throughout the season. I, I know we'll continue to throughout the postseason and we're appreciative of their efforts. Again, all four of those officials had been testing seven consecutive days, uh, produced those results, and uh, started their testing regimen upon arrival in Indianapolis last night. Testing has been a priority when it comes to the safety and health of everyone involved in this large scale event. Teams and staff are tested twice a day, 12 hours apart. They are also taking tests daily seven days prior to arrival. Despite the hiccup, the NCAA feels good about where they stand. We have very clearly defined and communicated protocols in place for team travel, testing, um, how teams operate within this controlled environment uh, and physical distancing and masking. Now at this time, we are still waiting to learn if any of those five referees that were exposed actually tested positive. The NCAA says the one that did test positive did participate in a couple of games over the weekend, but the health department has determined that there are no risk of potential exposure to anyone who was involved. Now they also say that they don't anticipate any replacement teams, but again, that could change before the 6 p.m. deadline as they still wait for more tests to come in from this morning and those teams that have arrived recently. Right now we are live downtown outside of Lucas Oil Stadium where it all ends. I'm Darius Johnson, Fox 59 News. Darius, thank you.